Oh, this is Angelique from New Angelique Abyss. I'm cosplaying as Supersonico from Supersonico. I'm cosplaying as Toon Zelda from The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, Wind Waker and Spirit Tracks. There's lots of ruffles and it's frilly. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't do much, but hey, it's pretty. I picked her because uh, I liked her. She's actually uh, a mascot of the uh, Japanese rock festival, but they did an anime and actually the anime sucked except for one episode, which includes, includes zombie-like creatures and this is the from the episode, she wears that, so I had to cosplay that. <laughs> Uh, Minish Cat was my first Legend of Zelda game and I've been in love since, in, with the character ever since. Oh, I'm liking there's a guy with a giant um, bow. That's awesome. And then there's a couple of others that just sort of like you look at it and there's so much work gone into it. They're amazing. Uh, that's a tough one, I have to think. Um, oh yeah, I know which one. Uh, I saw a Guybrush Sweetwood, a female Guybrush Sweetwood with the actual like the uh, swimming uh, loop thing. Uh, my English vocabulary isn't the best, but yeah, that was. I just was so happy. I didn't expect anyone to to cosplay him, but she did, and it's super awesome. There's um, Blood Elf from World of Warcraft, which I love. She just won the uh, cosplay masquerade. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I did, yes. Yep, I did. <laughs> yeah, everything's made by myself except for my gloves and my vest under here. Um, probably the boots, because I had to hand sew all the embellishments on. <laughs> so they're not, in, well, they're 90% done. There's more ribbon still, but ugh. <laughs> I have to say it'd be this bit, it's take like several days because it, it, the embroidery on it, I did most of it by hand so you kind of had to do Um, in hours or the length of time actually with work? <laughs> uh, probably I could do it in two weeks if I sat and sewed. <laughs> Uh, this go did go, yeah, it's not much, <laughs> uh, so it was pretty fast, uh, I think three days or more like three evenings. <laughs> Her costume with procrastination took about two to three months, I'm not actually sure on the actual time scale. Yes, I travelled in this morning in the trains and I'll be travelling home like this as well. Uh, no, I have to go on the plane and... Uh, <laughs> First, yeah, travel sometimes, so probably not, no. <laughs> yes. About half an hour on the train. Not really, but it's, a, it's an interesting one. I started cosplaying, I think, seven years ago, but like really intense, like making my own costumes and stuff, uh, that's two years ago, I think, yeah, two years ago. I've been cosplaying since 2009, so about five years now. Uh, I always loved anime and manga, of course, that was Sailor Moon, and before that I was a super huge fan of the Power Rangers series, and uh, then Dragon Ball and Pokemon, and somewhere I found out that there actually is a community, and there the thing called conventions, and I checked it out and I was like immediately hooked, it's just, uh, yeah, so to the people who watch this on YouTube, get here, you won't regret it, people are awesome, and yeah, you can express your fandom here, <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Uh, my friend kind of got me into Death Note and I kind of got addicted ever since and I've, I started with um, Light Yagami and then kind of progressively moved on to more and more harder costumes. Um, I'm gonna start making Sabre from Fate Stay Night and that's my one for NCM Expo. Uh, yeah, future costumes are The Silence from Doctor Who and Battle Angel Alita from Battle Angel Alita and Lady Deadpool. And uh, one more for next year, which is uh, Hannibal but from the Hannibal, but not the normal one, like the black 
thing with the horns and that's the things I definitely do next year at least because I have to and I want to. <laughs> I'm planning several different new costumes for the MCM this October. I'm doing Saria from Ocarina of Time and I'm doing Lucina from Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh. Mm. I don't know. There's sort of a list of ones. <laughs> Probably some giant floor length dress with some badass prop. Haven't decided quite which one yet. <laughs> My dream. Oh, yeah, that's easy. Uh, that would be uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, Kerrigan, yeah, from StarCraft 2. But like the real, like with the rings and stuff and. All of the latex suit and stuff, and that would be my absolute dream costume. It would be super expensive and incredibly much work, but one day I would probably try to do that. One far away day, but that's my dream cosplay. Dream costume? Well, I'd say dream costumes would be to do every single Princess Zelda costume I can. 